Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this given rational expression. And this is our episode number 14. So let's go ahead and get started and let's focus on our denominator over here on this rational expression as we can see that we have the power 2 that means this linear factor is repeating itself twice that means we are going to have two fractions all right so once if it repeats twice that means we're going to have a once we are going to put it just x plus 4 and then every time we go, we have to increase power by 1. So it's going to become x plus 4 squared. And on the top over here for the first fraction on the numerator, I'm going to put constant a. And for the second fraction, I'm going to put constant b. And our task is to find the values of a and b. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that one. The very first thing we are going to do is let's focus on this denominator, this part, x plus 4 squared on the left hand side. I'm going to go ahead and multiply each and every term by this x plus 4 squared. That means I'm going to multiply across the board. I'm going to multiply x plus 4 square and likewise x plus 4 square so let's see what happens okay so this x plus 4 square cancel with this x plus 4 square so on the left hand side we are ended up with 5x equal to and here as you can see that this 1x plus 4 cancel with 1 of 8 so we are left with a times x plus 4 and then plus the next one over here this x plus 4 squared cancel with this x plus 4 so we just simply ended up with plus b and i am going to call this equation as an equation number one and in our next step we have a quick trick look for linear factor in the denominator so let's look at this one over here in the denominator on the left hand side we have just one linear factor which is x plus 4 so i am going to write down copy it down x plus 4 right up here always set that linear factor equal to zero that means x is going to become negative 4. And now we got x equal to negative 4. That's why I wrote down put x equal to negative 4 in this equation number 1. That means wherever we see x, we are going to replace it by negative 4. So equation 1 becomes 5 times negative 4 we are replacing x by negative 4 and here as you can see that when we replace x by negative 4 and this positive 4 that is going to give us 0 so 0 times this whole term is going to become 0 so I am going to put down 0 and then plus b so on the left hand side that is going to become negative 20 and on the right hand side b that means b turns out to be negative 20 and now in our next step we are going to pick an easy point and the easiest point could be x equal to 0 so now we are going to put this x equal to 0 in this given equation 1 that means wherever x shows up we are going to replace it by 0 so the left hand side of this equation 1 is going to become 5 times 0 equal to a times this is going to become 0 x we are replacing by 0 plus 4 
plus b so on the left hand side this is 0 equal to 4a and we know that b in our case is negative 20 so i am going to move this negative 20 on the other side becomes positive 20 equal to 4a i am going to divide both sides by 4 to isolate a that means a turns out to be 5 so thus our a value turns out to be positive 5 and b is negative 20 so our partial fraction decomposition on the right hand side wherever you see an a i am going to replace it by 5 and wherever you see b we are going to replace it by negative 20 and here are the numbers on the top on the numerator a being replaced by 5 and b being replaced by negative 20 and here is our final answer when i put this negative sign in the middle and that is our answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye